Oh hey, I didn't see you there. Welcome back. Today we're going to be making chocolate chip cookies. So let's begin. First thing we're going to do is place some room temperature butter in a bowl. Now we're going to add in some brown sugar. And then we're going to add in some white sugar. Now we're going to mix it together until it forms some kind of cream-like texture. Now it should look something like this so far. Now we're going to throw in some vanilla extract. Whisk it in and then add in one egg at a time to incorporate all together. Set it aside and use another bowl. Add in about 3 cups of all-purpose flour. Once you're done with that, add some baking soda. And then we're going to add a small amount of salt. Mix it all together to prevent clumping. Now we're going to add in the flour mixture in thirds. We don't want to add it all in at once, or it'll be even harder to mix. Once you're done, fold it all together gently. Add in the semi-sweet chocolate and the walnuts and mix it all together gently. Roll a spoonful of cookie dough into a round ball and place it onto a baking sheet. Do this until your baking sheet is full, leaving one and a half to two inches apart from each cookie. In a preheated 350 degree oven, bake the cookies for about 10 to 12 minutes or until the edges are golden brown. Take them out and serve them warm. Let them cool for about five minutes before serving. These cookies were delicious. You can really taste the chocolate chips in every bite. And you also get that nice nutty flavor from the walnuts. You can substitute the walnuts with any kind of nuts if you prefer, or opt them out entirely. But man, does it make all the difference. And let's not forget the cookie itself. Nice crispy edges, and a soft texture on the inside. There you have it guys. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't. Hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. And check out my social medias if you haven't already. And until next time, I'm dishing out.